You got, she's got tattoos, right? She's got plastic surgery. She's got a septum piercing. And I don't know if, I don't know about lip filler. So my question is, um, f this is for you, Mason. Would you date a girl oh boy. who wore this much makeup with septum nose piercing, face filters, uh, maybe lip fillers, and fake boobs, and blasted full sleeve tat? And to the rest of the panel, tattoos. Sorry, I'm, it's taking me like 10 minutes to get to the fucking point. I will okay, not okay, date okay. a man with fake boobs. <laughs> okay. Fair, fair, fair. Yes. To the panel, tattoos in general, pro, uh, red flag, green flag, do you like them, do you dislike them? I think they're a red flag, but I love them. You think it's a red flag if, <laughs> by the way, are you, uh, there, what's your there. orientation? Are you straight, bi? Um, I'm bisexual. And is it red flag for both men and women? Yes. Really? I, okay. I also have tattoos. You, yeah, you have tattoos. So yeah, are I have you trends. a red flag? Um, if you're asking me, I would say no, but if you're asking my ex, I would say yes. I you mean, the yes. tattoos are not where I would say the red flag comes from. But. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I would say there's probably some other yeah, things that that would say. A few from. other <laughs> character flaws I might red flag. I don't think I have any flaws. Thank okay. you. Zero flaws. Okay. Zero flaws. Zero. Um, okay, okay. So yeah, just around the table, do, you, are you, do tattoos, are you attracted to them? Red flag, green flag? I don't think I would date a man without tattoos. Without tattoos. Yeah. I think you, if, you have a couple. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, I, I don't think a man that doesn't have any tattoos would date me, so it kind of <laughs> goes both ways. No. I think there's so. There's plenty of tattoo-free men. That like that girls with tattoos? You. I don't think so. I don't know about that, actually. Yeah, I, I kind of think so. <laughs> no, there, I think yeah, uh, there is are. definitely there's there's a lot of tattoos. I have no tattoos, and I've I've dated women with tattoos. Like okay. a lot of tattoos? Those. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. Like not a lot. I don't yeah, no, but like, do you have a lot? I mean, I my whole leg, my whole arm. Yeah, like, I, was I feel like say that it. constitutes is a fairly large amount of tattoos. Yeah, I feel like... But like on the scale, yeah, okay, you don't have like just a little heart tattoo on your wrist. But yeah. you don't have, like, you're not blasting oh, with yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah. but to be like, honest, I'm, like, eventually going to be, like, neck down. Like, okay. So I, I'm, I'm only 19. It's been a year. Okay. I, I'm, oh, wow. so oh, you're considering a neck slash face tattoo. If I'm very, very, very well off at some point, I'll do my neck. I think but not my face. Really never the face. Honest. I would never touch my face, ever. I did say I would never touch my hands, and then I did, so. Oh, would any girl here get a whatever logo tattoo? We'll pay for it. Get a logo? How much would you pay a me? whatever wow. logo tattoo. That's the deal you'll pay for it? That's it? I will, I will pay Wait, for it. Wait, does it have to be on the face? I think he's paying for no, 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 the tattoo, okay. not yeah. get That's what I'm saying. You pay for Where the tattoo, is. that's it. Depending on the size and the location, it certainly can be a negotiation. I'm, I'm open to considering terms. Um, but we can pick where we put it. It has to be somewhere where you may semi-regret. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> tramp stamp. Or whatever tramp stamp. Oh, whatever tramp stamp. That would be a good tramp stamp. What about like on the lip? You know how people do that? Could be, that could be, that actually could be good. Yeah. We'll talk out. We could talk out. Actually, that's not bad. should we negotiate this shit right really now? I think it'd be really I would do it. <laughs> Go for it. So if we pay for it, plus what? Or just for free? I would not do anything for free. Well, what if we just pay for it? No. A McDonald's cheeseburger. <laughs> um, I would accept a minimum of 10 grand. Jesus. Okay, all right. <laughs> Slow down, buddy. I think Slow you down, asked buddy. probably the most expensive person. Of, actually, no, I, I wouldn't do it for any amount of money, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> tattoos, like, dislike, do you have any? Um, yeah, I have two, and I personally don't care as long as it's not like a stupid tattoo. Something that like they'll regret later. Yeah, like I, I don't know, like an ex-girlfriend's mm -hmm. name or something like that. Oh, that's but, a hard yeah. no. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like I like them. I <laughs> don't really have a preference. Yeah. That bad. I'm neutral about them. I don't really care if you have them or not. I mean, I have a few. They're like you can barely you see can't them on so camera. Cute, it's line work. So, but yeah, I don't. I don't care. I'm neutral. Um, I love tattoos, but people with tattoos don't seem to like me, so <laughs> I kind of just chill with what I can get, you know? <laughs> Wait, people, you what? have tattoos, but people with tattoos don't like you. A majority of the people that I've dated do not have tattoos. Interesting. Wait, okay. But people with <laughs> tattoos dislike you. Well, I wouldn't say dislike. They're, I've just... You just haven't had luck with those nah. with tattoos. Yeah. Haven't you just not had luck with... Anybody? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> wow. Ryan. What? I just, she's been on the show before. I've heard stories. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Facts. All right. <laughs> I like oh, tattoos. Yeah. I think that they're, like, very attractive. And, like, I want tattoos personally. I just okay. haven't gotten any yet. Sure. So, like, 
but if you don't like that's fine like mm. it's chill but like don't be i don't like it when people are like oh i would never put anything sure. in my body like that it's okay. just kind of like why are you judging nathan what about you yeah um so i mean there are so there are scripture ver- there, there are verses in the bible that discuss tattoos um i know so in leviticus there's a there are verses in particular that say that any markings on the body um is a no-go but I think in context of that passage in particular, um, it's uh, the context in which they were discussing um, tattoos were exclusively uh, related to pagans. Um, and is, so throughout the rest of scripture, you don't see that other places. Um, so I'm not convinced by one l- verse in Leviticus. I mean, there might be other places that discuss it, but. Uh, there's one verse in Leviticus in particular that discusses that topic. So I'm not totally against it. I think it's a heart issue. Um, so it depends on what the tattoo is. Uh, I've dated girls with tattoos. I've dated girls without tattoos. Uh, I don't have any tattoos. And if I were to get one, it would have to be something extremely meaningful. Um, actually, the one tattoo I probably will get is uh, my wedding ring. Uh, eventually when I get married at some point. Okay. Um, I have no tattoos. It is very unlikely that I will ever get tattoos. Mm. I'm not opposed to dating somebody with tattoos, though. I have dated people with and without. So. Okay. Uh, I don't. <coughs> I don't have any tattoos. It's possible one day I could get some. I will say, as long as they're tasteful. Would you get the whatever tattoo on your lip? <laughs> You're gonna have to pay me. <laughs> Ten grand. Twenty thousand for that shit. Um, uh, no, I don't. I definitely not a lip tattoo. Um, I don't think you can I'm donate gonna, through Streamlabs. I feel uh, like I'm not the type of guy. Like, okay, you guys, some of you have met me before. Some of you maybe first impression, right? Do I seem like the type of guy to have tattoos? No, no. no. I'm not the dude. I'm no. not that guy. <laughs> what if I just had like a tram stamp or some shit? That'd be just, sick. You'd be surprised, right? <laughs> be Actually, cool. you might be like, yeah, I'd see that. <laughs> <laughs> He's the type of guy. Honestly, most stamp. guys that I know who wear flannels, I feel like they whoa, have tattoos. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Who, they have yeah, tattoos. Yeah. I thought you were about to say tramp stamp. I was about no, to no, 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 no. Offended. Um, okay. Also, I don't usually go looking at guys in the tramp stamp area. Ah, uh, so I'm missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you uh, viewing men with like their tramp stamp area exposed, huh? Brian? I feel like that's a fair question. <laughs> I'm concerned. Um, as far as dating, uh, <laughs> I'd say I, I t- uh, tattoos are not a deal breaker, but I would say I lean towards having a slight preference towards uh, women without tattoos. But it's not like, a, I think there's also a scale to it. Like if, obviously like if, all the way from like fully covered, there's some people that try to like, 99% tattoo their entire body like that probably that's no and then it starts becoming more of a yes as you get closer to 0%. How many people have you seen with their entire body tattooed? Well, I'm just I'm just trying to articulate the point, but um not many. Obviously, it's pretty <laughs> rare. Yeah, like, on the scale of like <clears throat> All of the tattoos versus none of the tattoos, like the the less tattoos they have, the more likely you'll probably date them. Sure. Yeah, but I, there's obviously other factors. Well, like, yeah, obvi- other obviously factors you're not going like, to look at a girl factor. that has tattoos and be like, she has no potential in ever talking <laughs> to me ever. Yeah, like the yeah. amount of tattoos, like the amount of tattoos you have, for example, like that wouldn't be like 100% deal breaker, no go. I obviously want to further assess someone's mental state. So where do you <laughs> Let's draw talk the about line? your mental state now. Uh, <laughs> what? Where do you draw the line between like tattoos that are like acceptable versus too many tattoos and mm. what does too many tattoos represent for you like what do you think is going to be the negative negativities of a woman having sure. too many tattoos well i mean it, i think some of it could be like a snap judgment about the person um you know i think i think depending on your socioeconomic position on one hand you have like people who are very wealthy they can also have tattoos but then like people who are oh god am i i'm gonna sound kind of classist here um I think if you're economically, you're not doing well, it says something about your financial reasoning. If you're like getting tattoos, it's like you're struggling financially, but you're like like inking up your body. Like a coping mechanism. No, it's just like. Like you just don't know where to properly spend your money. As a long-term partner. Like you're stupid. 
Okay. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> hold on. I, I got it. I got it. As a long-term partner, if you're making poor financial decisions, like if, I mean, if it's just like you want to fuck the person and they're attractive, cool. I'm not really interested in that. So for like long-term potential, I am looking at like various non-physical related things. So if if you are making decisions with your money that you're struggling with money, but okay, let me get fully blasted in tattoos. I'm like you're not very prudent when it comes to your spending, like so. Um, but obviously, like, it's, you have people who are extremely wealthy who can obviously, like, and they have a lot of tattoos. So it's not necessarily indication of, like, poor financial uh, decision making. Um, what else? Uh, some people get tattoos as, for a variety of reasons. Um, well, like, for me personally, I have a mushroom tattoo here. I'm having it removed, but um, I got it when I turned 18 so that people wouldn't think I was 12. <laughs> That's valid. That's okay. <laughs> you could just, like, you know, you could have just, here's my ID slash birth certificate. Yeah. Who's going to pull out their ID? Who's going to just, um. like, <laughs> wait, but, like, me. You're just gonna, what do you mean, you? I'll flash someone. You want to okay. see my tattoo? No. I'm going to pass on that. No. But, um, <laughs> it's not not YouTube. Uh, but uh, uh, This outfit doesn't allow it either. <clears throat> Thank goodness. In any case, um, <laughs> let's here. Let, we'll wrap up the point on this. But uh, there's one more photo. So, ooh, okay, scroll up, scroll up. <laughs> bigger, bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger. <laughs> let's hide the lower half. Okay, and then. That's <laughs> there you go. Wait, a little Better. scroll out one. Scroll out one. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. There you go, okay. Uh, so this is the other girl that was gonna be on. Um, as you can see, even more tattoos. She's got the neck tattoo. She has, it's not visible, but I think she has four face tattoos, right? Um, fake lips. So this is a bit more uh, like, I would I say me that. personally, and Mason, you're free to weigh in. <laughs> like I wouldn't date a girl. <laughs> <laughs> she, bro, she wouldn't date me either. It's, it's all good. But. She probably wouldn't, but it's probably for the best. Yeah, but I'm, it's not like I'm trying to I'm clown on her. But what I'm saying is <laughs> just based off of the tattoos, to me, it's too much. It's a bit of a red flag. Um, so, yeah. Mason, yeah. any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, so, of course, when weighing in on, on the subject, I come at it with a biblical perspective. But just as a, as a regular dude's perspective, if I look at a woman and she has a bunch of plastic surgeries, lip fillers, tattoos, all of this stuff, what like what happened where their self image was so terrible where they had to change all of this stuff about their body they're they're made in the image of God and God made them and all of a sudden they're just like I don't accept that I don't I think God made a mistake with me I think that he made me incorrectly and I have a better version of myself than God has for me and that's honestly it's it's more heartbreaking for me to see that than anything else um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's not a deal breaker if they have s certain plastic surgeries, but if it's like a, like a persistent course in their life where they're constantly changing things, ah, I don't want that. There you have it. Okay. So with the girls here, neck tattoo? No. Face Never. tattoo? Absolutely not. No. Would I get one or would I date someone with them? Yeah, date. Date? Um, yeah. I would, because I'm not going to let something like, obviously it would be like a note in my book because that person probably has a lot of life experience that's led them to that point where they feel like they need to get tattoos on their face to project who they are outwardly, but that doesn't mean that they're a bad person or that they're going to be a bad partner. Okay, there you have it. There you have it, folks. All right, let's move on to the actual show now, sort of.